Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday. It is September 22nd. And it is, we are in Wednesday of the 25th, Sunday of Ordinary Time. For those who are live streaming, I am a, a little bit late today. Uh, I had windows open on Monday, and everybody said that the sound was fine with that. I was going to have windows open today. Um, and then I realized that the wind was blowing through here like a little wind tunnel. And that wasn't going to work, so I had to take care of a couple things. Friends, um, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship before the Lord our Maker. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship before the Lord, our Maker. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the word. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light Eden saw play. Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flattered himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven, your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain, your judgments like the deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O oh Lord, how precious is your love! My God, the sons of men find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright heart. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are the source of unfailing light. Give us true knowledge of your mercy, so that we may renounce our pride and be filled with the riches of your house. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. Sing to him a new song. Exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like what wax, the rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. All peoples clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, king of all peoples and all ages, it is your victory we celebrate as we sing with all the skill at our command. Help us to overcome evil by good, that we may rejoice in your triumph forever. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. A reading from the book of Tobit. Do to no one what you yourself dislike. Give to the hungry some of your bread and to the naked some of your clothing. Seek counsel from every wise man. At all times, bless the Lord God and ask him to make all your paths straight and to grant success to all your endeavors and plans. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Incline my heart, O God. Excuse me. Incline my heart according to your will, O God. Incline my heart according to your will, O God. Speed my steps along your path, according to your will, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Incline my heart, according to your will, O God. Show us your mercy, Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Let us give thanks to Christ and offer him continual praise, for he sanctifies us and calls us his brothers. Lord, help your brothers to grow in holiness. With single-minded devotion, we dedicate the beginnings of this day to honor the re to the honor of your resurrection. May we make the whole day pleasing to you by our works of holiness. Lord, help your brothers to grow in holiness. As a sign of your love, you renew each day for the sake of our well-being and happiness. Renew us daily for the sake of your glory. Lord, help your brothers to grow in holiness. Teach us today to recognize your presence in all men, especially in the poor and in those who mourn. Lord, help your brothers to grow in holiness. Grant that we may live today in peace with all men, never rendering evil for evil. Lord, Help your brothers to grow in holiness. Gathering these prayers, calling to mind the prayers that we hold in our hearts, we lift up our voices using those sacred words of Jesus himself, and together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Savior, hear our morning prayer. Help us to follow the light and live the truth. In you we have been born again as sons and daughters of light, May we be your witnesses before all the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. It is a gift and a treasure to be able to pray uh, in this strange little virtual format with each of you. And so reminding you um, to, uh, to pray for one another, um, to, keep, to keep each other. Every single one of us has something that we're going to face today that we're going to need God's grace. And the Lord will give us that grace. And so pray for one another that we have the wisdom and the courage to receive God's grace today. To, to be able to, to live in the holiness that we're called to. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.